When you talk about Central North Island and patients, you need to say, do we have the people, the programs, the facilities and the resources to meet patient care needs? The answer to that is simply absolutely not. Over the last 30 years, we experienced significant growth in Central North Island. The resources, the programs and facilities to meet medical need didn't match it. You're way behind what we need in terms of programs, facilities, resources, and more importantly, the doctors and nurses that we need in those programs to look after people. 53% of all cancers occur in Central North Island, yet we don't have a cancer center. We have two cardiologists in Central North Island. We have a greater burden of cardiac disease in every area than South Island. We're older, and yet we have two, they have 22, and they have every program in cardiology except transplant. North America-wide, Canada-wide, 460,000 people. We're probably the biggest population that has lack of access to both those acute care programs. Right now, we are so uh, underserved in cancer care that people often have to wait three to four months in Central North Island to get their appointment and start their treatment. In order to provide several of these programs, we will need a new tower, a patient diagnostic and treatment center. It's difficult to attract people into this scenario. That's the real, uh, one of the big issues. Our nurses, our care aides, our support staff. Working in a facility that's 60 years old, the staff does an amazing job and they have learned to do, our saying is do more with less. Patients in Campbell River and Comox and Port Party and Tassis will benefit enormously from a, a tertiary facility at Nanaimo. We thank the, the ministry and the government for approving us for a cancer center and phase one is coming to be started or finished in 2027. And we look forward to that and the full cancer center to follow after we get the other facilities we need.